What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing this channel and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. This video I want to solve this trigonometric equation which is 6 cosine squared theta plus cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. And we need to solve it for theta between 0 and 2 pi. So first thing I want to do here, we are dealing with the quadratic equation and I need to solve it by factoring method and AC method. 6 times negative 1 is going to be negative 6 and here we have positive 1. So we're looking for two numbers multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 1. So it's going to be 3 and negative 2 when you multiply this negative 6 and when you add it, it's going to be positive 1. So you sub it there, it's going to be 6 cosine squared theta. Instead of cosine theta, I will write 3 cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta. So 3 cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So instead of 3 terms, now I have 4 terms. So the first, the middle term here, it changed to 3 cosine theta minus 2 cosine theta. Then, what I can do, I can factor it by grouping. Here we have 6 cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta. I will factor 3 cosine theta and then it will be 2 cosine theta plus 1. So basically I divided both, both terms by 3 cosine theta. So it's going to be 2 cosine theta plus 1. And here I need to take something like that out. So I factor negative 1. So it's going to be 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Now I factor 2 cosine theta plus 1 and here I have 3 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So we have 2 cosine theta plus 1 times 3 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So one answer is going to be cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 2 and the other one is going to be cosine theta equals to 1 over 3. These are the two cases. One answer is going to be pi minus pi over 3, pi plus pi over 3, and these are the for the case 1. Why? Because we know cosine pi over 3 is positive 1 over 2, and the answer must be related to pi over 3, and cosine is negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. Quadrant 2, the answer is going to be pi minus pi over 3, in quadrant 3 is going to be pi plus pi over 3 as you see it here. Now what about this second part? The second part cosine is positive so the answer must be in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So we have 1 point two three and the other answer will be two times pi minus one point two three which is gonna be five point oh five so these are the two answers to cosine theta equals to one over three I used calculator to find it so it's gonna be one point two three radian this part and so this part is going to be 1.23 as well. So the answer is going to be 2 pi minus 1.23. It means that 2 times 3.14 minus 1.23, which is going to be 5.05. .05. So these are the four answers. So I will write it like that. 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 1.23, 5.05. .05. And you know how to convert pi. Pi is 3.14 times 2 divided by 3. That will be 2.09. Here, that's going to be 4.18, 1.23, and 5.05. .05. These are all the answers in terms of radian. If you want to write it in terms of degrees, you need to multiply it by 180 and divide it by pi. First one is going to be 120 almost degrees. Second one is going to be 4 pi over 3. That's going to be 
240 degrees 1.23 is 70.5 degrees and the last one will be 289.5 degrees so these are the four answers to this question i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question and i get back to you as soon as possible i will leave some related playlists in the description in case you need extra help you can take a look to the description and find out the related videos thank you for watching and have a great day